Hi, everybody. So I want to introduce you to Aubrey. And I wanted to get into a conversation with Aubrey because she does something that's kind of amazing and she actually knows she's doing it, which is kind of rare. So I want her to talk about what she does for the earth. Yeah. So I'm a quantum architect. Um, and what that means is that I use the basic geometry and grids um, from source to uh shift crystalline system shift shift systems into a crystalline system here and now and so what i usually do is i take the blueprint of what was and the blueprint of what's going to be and then i kind of bring them into a healing space and uh help whatever i'm working with kind of just evolve into its um future quantum body so um i've been working with the earth a lot on that lately and mm -hmm. um she's got a couple messages for the collective um that she kind of wanted to pass on um first of all if if any of you are not aware we uh have an, a new soul in the earth as of last year um so if you have been very connected to the earth in the past and have not been talking to the earth very much this last year she's really 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 wanting to connect with everybody on the planet and she's very talkative um and so the easiest way to do that is to um tune into your root chakra and just start feeling the light in it and she will immediately be able to like pass messages through there um the main one that she wants to say is that she really really loves everybody here um she just is just bursting with, at the seams with just how much love she has for every single being on this planet right now um and she is on this path right now that she's really looking to guide everybody through ascension um and she's leading by example so she has officially upgraded to her uh, her quantum crystalline body. Um, there's still, uh, there's always an integration and transitionary period, but their actual grid networks in, in the core of the earth right now uh, that are emitting are the frequency of an ascended planet. Yeah, I think it's amazing. So mm -hmm. she's so beautiful too. Just absolutely beautiful. She is, and she's really yeah. relatable. Like she just, um, she's a very real being that just like, mm -hmm. um, you, it feels like a homie you can talk to. Right, <laughs> like a homie. <laughs> <laughs> and she's our home too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> That's good, I love that. So you also work on, so you work on all kinds of system, systems, so um you go from like bodies all the way up to like you know solar systems or universes or whatever right um, yeah yeah tell us how you work with the human body I'm really curious about that yeah so ultimately the makeup of any universe comes down to the exact same pattern and that's the flower of life and uh, I can share my screen really fast so you can see what I'm talking about so this pattern right here, um, it's okay. it's the building block of any grid and any system and anything ever that I'm ever working with. And so as a as a grid worker and an architect, basically I'm finding like the way that we exist and um, travel throughout the universe is by finding different ways to relate on this on this exact same grid. And so when I'm doing healing on a solar system or if I'm doing healing on a human system. Um, I'm basically just resolving all the resonance of, of the way that your system is working within this same pattern. Um, and so, so when I'm working with the human body, especially lately, I've been up upgrading a lot of systems and just reminding their system of their new crystalline nature, because um, we are now officially on a crystalline planet, which means our bodies are trying to be crystalline. And so mm -hmm. I'm seeing a lot of things like, um, your body might not be taking minerals or water the way that it used to. And that's, that's usually an indicator that you're kind of like halfway between your, your previous system and your crystalline system. Um, and so the healing that I'm doing is basically just getting the, the quantum blueprint from the Akashic records. So of your own personal, like actual blueprint of how you're going to be in the future. And I'm just taking that blueprint and then um, helping your system resolve any inconsistencies and disharmony um, in where you'd like to be. I love that. Yeah. So you're moving it forward a little mm -hmm. bit faster without all the inks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like moving grid points so that it just like 
and suddenly yeah. like things will just like drop out because your your future version of you has healed from all these traumas and i think it's been really common in um human nature of the last couple hundred years to be stuck in a, a holding a healing holding pattern where where you're you're just you're healing things and you're healing things and you're healing things but you're never actually getting to the point where they're healed and so i'm bringing the point where they are actually healed healed and just reminding your system that that's where you're going yeah i love that so mm -hmm. that's brilliant yeah and this is beautiful i always think of um kind of the honeycomb which I guess is actually in there too. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> it is. It's like, um, I mean, if you just look at Metatron's cube, uh, it, um, I should, probably should have had it up before we started talking. I had a feeling we were going to be talking about it a little bit, but yeah, the honeycomb pattern is found in Metatron's cube as well. Yeah. It's, it's just a hexagon. And so that's repeating all, all across over time and space. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yep. That feels like home to me instead of the nasty math that they teach on this planet. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the way I feel about, um, because Metatron's cube is an ultimate balance and ultimately living in ultimate balance all the time gets very boring. And so mm -hmm. I, all of us on some level have moved points on, on all of the geometry in order to have different experiences. Um, and it just, it's, it's a natural thing to do to shift something like math or frequency, just to see what happens. It, mm -hmm. the, it becomes a problem when you, it starts inflicting on other people and that's, and it, and that did happen here and that was nasty, but it's, yeah. it's coming back. The earth is, she's taken charge of her own grid. It's really beautiful to see. That is beautiful. Yep. Mother Tara. Mother Tara. Mother Tara. <laughs> yep. I've been really uh, happy to see the attitude she's had lately. She's um, without, without any charge. She's just sort of taking control of her situation of like what, what she wants here and what she doesn't want here. And there's, there's no like emotional, like get off of me. It's just like, no, you can't be here. And she's, she's really modeling the energetic space of, mm -hmm. um, of standing in your own power, which I think is what all the humans are going to be doing next. And I'm so excited to see it. Yeah. We're all so powerful. Yeah, it's so true. It's time to be sovereign. Mm -hmm. Like it's it is absolutely, and the energeticness of Terra going through that, Mother Earth going through that is massive. That's going to change the whole like environment. Yep, it is. I'm going to stop sharing my screen so we can keep talking. Do do do. Oh, was it shared? Yeah. Okay. So we could just, how do I stop? Oh, did you find it? I think so. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Tech. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm excited for the tech to get easier. Um, have you been shown any of that? Cause I know when I was told it's like, you don't need um, to be too complicated. The main thing that I'm seeing is that there's we're going to have a lot of bioluminescence. Um, a lot of the tech that we have right now that is emitting light um, is mm -hmm. um, kind of not allowing us to be very conscious about the way that we are using light. Um, and by by using bioluminescence instead, there's a lot of technology that's going to be coming that I'm excited about, and that we, you're more having you have to interact with your, the light around you and 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 be more um, intentional about the way that you're using it. Mm -hmm. Not not for not because of the energy, but just because that light light really defines a lot of experience, and it's just it's essential for um for presence and ascension to to be able to interact with that part of your of your world yeah well and we're gonna have more light inside of our bodies too mm -hmm. right so it's interesting i talk about this a lot well at least i have but basically there was this so two kids picture two kids sitting on the pier the pier so mm -hmm. i'm saying that um basically like on the ocean um, so they're on this boardwalk and they've got their feet hanging off the edge and their bodies are leaning against the metal bars 
and their bodies are more like the shadow that they cast their bodies cast less of a shadow than the bars so we're really moving forward in a big way oh, I love that yeah yeah I guess I hadn't you know I spend so much time in the grid systems I don't always um look at the repercussions of what things would do but that's a that makes perfect sense yeah well, that was really cool so yeah. One of the things I'm really looking forward to is as we update to these crystalline systems, we don't, we're not going to need our nervous systems anymore. And those are phasing <laughs> out with crystalline systems because cool. there isn't really need a, a, a need for fight or flight um, in, a, in a new crystalline ecosystem. And so I've already seen that start to start to happen with a couple of the people I've been working with. And um, I, oh, the, I still have a few vestiges of my nervous system and it's it's interesting every single time they get triggered my body's like why are we doing this <laughs> this was unnecessary <laughs> yeah it's so important to let go of that like the fight or flight and also the um lack mentality mm -hmm. that's connected to it like getting rid of those is going to be tremendous yeah I never is. thought that that would actually completely go away that's great. Yeah, it's, I mean, there's just new different, like, in the points of the internal crystal and grid we have, there's everything that would serve that function is now, like, integrated into the grid itself. And so it's not, there's not a need for a central point for that. Right. I wonder why we had one in the first place, almost, you know? <laughs> Uh, it was just the way that things were set up because we had um, the central sun, which we no longer have now sources everywhere inside of the grid and you can find source in your heart. Um, but the way that everything was set up, it required um, lines to source and their central nervous system was one of those. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> tell me, since you know how everything's set up, Tell me about the solar system. Like, um, we have a sun, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. How is that sun doing right now? Uh, the sun has already ascended. Yeah. Um, the sun is already in a much higher dimensional structure. Um, it's kind of gone through and it's undergone its like process. Um, we had some Dyson spheres around our planet to um, to to protect it from the wakes that the sun was creating as it went through its ascension process, but mm -hmm. it's now in a much higher dimension. So um, the sun is emitting a lot of codes right now to assist our planet in, in joining it into the higher, in the higher dimensions. Yeah. Um, but we are having to kind of control the trickle of the code. So it doesn't just like blast everybody and kill a bunch of people. Yeah. Which is great that that's happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What an interesting interesting world we're stepping into it's so magical it's so, it's so fun magical. yeah once you get over how it's like how is this happening um and you let go of worrying about it actually happening like it's just so much fun mm -hmm. so it is i mean this system we're moving into essentially it looks like a super organism it's an ecosystem so that everyone can move it's a playground so people can create and move and learn together rather than having to go through the lessons you know it, it's it's a it's a completely different dynamic throughout the entire universe and it's yeah. it's just so much fun <laughs> it sounds way more fun I know when I so we did a tune in about the universe and it was basically we're going from a lesson universe a learning universe into a being universe yeah this is kind of failing sorry <laughs> right. so. that's exactly right yeah. <laughs> I love that. yeah but in order to do that um we we need all the humans to continue to be standing in their i am presence and their sovereignty because it, it's yeah and you're going to continue to impose lessons on other people and on yourself until you until you learn to just be and to be you and be on un, un, authentically and unapologetically you yeah and that's that's the final lesson <laughs> It is. Well, and that's who we came in here to be. Mm -hmm. And it's your gift. So beautiful. It's so interesting. <laughs> yeah, it is interesting. That's a great note to end on too. I think just be yourself, figure out who you are, that whole finding yourself thing. It's time to do that. 
if you haven't yet. And let go of all the junk and that's how you show up. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Aubrey. You're welcome. Um, If anyone's interested in learning a little bit more about this, I have a class on Friday called The Nature and Origin of Consciousness. And I'll be diving a little bit deeper into um, where consciousness began, kind of how it is created and what consciousness on this planet specifically looks like and yeah. how to how to manip- manipulate your own consciousness for for your better experience. Beautiful. And I'm going to put her links below. So her website and her class. So you'll have all of that. Um, yeah, I think it's amazing what we're moving into. And it's just so beautiful that people are starting to get to see it. Me too. Yeah, me too. All the fog is getting cleared. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love it. Thank mm-hmm. you. Thank you. Pleasure to talk as always, honey. Yes, it was. <laughs> Bye, everybody.